All team believe that academic writing are needed to be learned in this era. All English major students have to know well about this kind of writing. We found this video to show you the information about error analysis, which would benefit for you in learning academic writing. Sit back, relax, and enjoy our videos. Error 1. Unnecessary words. We went to travel to Kirby province. Let's see this sentence. There is error in this sentence. It sounds unnatural. It is translated Thai language. It doesn't make sense. So, from using went to travel, change to be only travel. Because the word travel has already clear meaning. So, the correct sentence is we travel to Grubi province. Error 2. Plural. We bought water and some snack. When you notice this sentence, you will see that it has a visible mistake. Alright, look at the word snack. Snack is a countable noun. Remember that any countable nouns that is after the word some must put s so snack here needs an s at the end it would become we bought water and some snacks error three wrong word form let's see the example together everyone looked excited include me because being on it was our first time Notice in this sentence how to change the form of the word include. Certainly, in a sentence, it need to have only one main verb. But for this sentence, there are two main verbs. It's the word look and include. So, we have to change the word include to be a noun by adding ing because we already have look to be the main verb of this sentence error four awkward awkward sentences are those which are difficult or confusing to read usually a good writer needs to make a clear writing to be naturally and smoothly in reading so look at the example I wanted to make it completed on that day. For this sentence, the grammatical structure is correct, but this was a wasteful word. We can make it more shortened. We need to modify the word, make it completed, to be only complete. So, the correct one is, I wanted to complete it on that day. Arrow 5. Wrong word. I felt we were going to face with the extreme rainstorm. The sentence has an error at the adjective that describes the word rainstorm. Normally, we cannot use the word extreme to describe rainstorm. It is unnatural for describing. So, the sentence looked Thai language translation form. Extreme rainstorm actually has specific word to describe. What is that word? Heavy rainstorm. However, if you want to use the word extreme in English, we use extreme weather. But rainstorm, we have to use only heavy rain or heavy rainstorm. So, the sentence we change it into, I feel we were going to face with the heavy rainstorm. Error 6. Pronoun reference. First, you need to know that a pronoun should refer correctly in the context. Look at these two sentences. We had tutoring on the weekend for two days as I studied in a boarding school. These two sentences, the pronoun reference is faulty here because the first sentence used the word we, 
but in the second sentence use the word I. It made the reader me confused about characters in the essay. Let's see the correct one. We had tutoring on the weekend for two days as we studied in a boarding school. Era 7. Verb. Look at this sentence. I really busy on Friday. This is not a complete sentence. Note that when we want to make a sentence, in every sentence must contain two components. There must be a subject and a main verb. If we lack any of them in a sentence, our sentence is not complete. Look back to the sentence. You see, it is like a main verb. The word really is an adverb. Busy is an adjective. So, in this sentence, there needs a main verb to make it complete. Let's see the correct one. I'm really busy on Friday. Error 8. Preposition. When it was grade 11, my friends and I had to go to Hat Yai. Look at the first clause. There is a little bit mistake. Just only there is no preposition in front of the word grade 11. Naturally, if we say that when it was grade 11, that means you are not a human being. You are the grade 11. But if we say that when I was at grade 11, that means you were studying at grade 11. So, the right way to say is, when I was at grade 11. That's it. Era 9. Article. Article are used to indicate whether a noun refers to a specific or general item. Let's see some common mistakes about article. One week before going back, teacher assign us to make a speech. The correct one, one week before going back, a teacher assign us to make a speech. Okay, now you know the importance of article in sentence. Error 10. Verb tense. I had lost my beloved adopted mother. This sentence is using the wrong verb tense. Well, first of all, what we have to know is about tense. How to use it and when to use it. Let's see. Past perfect tense is used to make two sentences clear that one event happened before another event in the past. It doesn't matter which event is mentioned first. The tense makes it clear which one happened first. We'll use this tense when we have to pass events to describe. And the event that happened first will be in past perfect form. Past perfect cannot be used in only one event. In this sentence, we have to change to be present perfect tense. It would be, I have just lost my beloved adopted mother for one year. That would be better. Error 11. Commas needed. It was very hot. Then I flicked my hijab. These two sentences affect to each other. It was very hot is the cause. And I flicked my hijab is the effect then. The transitional word so is more suitable for these sentences to show the relationship of two events. This sentence should be it was very hot, so I flicked my hijab. Error 12. Confusing. It was not too long and arrived. This is kind of a natural sentence. It might be translated from Thai to directly. There are many ways to write it naturally and correctly. For example, 
Ten minutes later, my aunt arrived. Or, it was about ten minutes. Then, aunt arrived.